The new Fortnite season has been out for a week now, and I gotta say, this might be the most important season ever to have good aim. And I think I have the updated best console settings for that, including a new console performance mode. And real quick, these are the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. They're actually affordable, while still having some really nice features like noise isolation, water and sweat resistance for working out, which is personally where I use earbuds the most. Being able to put in wireless earbuds that don't fall out even while you're squatting or running on the track treadmill are doing push-ups, 8 hours of playtime, basically everything you need, and they're sponsoring this part of the video to get the word out. They're here to break the stereotype that affordable means worse, because it doesn't. These have good sound quality, easy touch controls, in between all the tips, you literally don't feel them in your ears, but they're also not going to fall out. Thanks to Raycon, you're paying less than half the price for the same, maybe even a better quality of earbuds. Especially if you click my link in the description, or go to buyraycon.com forward slash carter2k, which gets you an additional 15% off. I mean, whether you're new to wireless earbuds or you just need a backup pair, I promise you can't go wrong with these. So first things first, I'm running Fortnite on the PS5, which I always turn 120 FPS mode on. And then to make console the brightest, because it's usually pretty dark, I turn on Triton Open 150 brightness. For audio, all I'm gonna do is turn visualize sound effects on, and then the rest of these don't really matter. For the game tab, I'm over here with toggle sprint turned on, auto open doors on, mantle activation hold jump. Honestly, a lot of these are just default until I get to the preferred item slot. And look, there's actually a few really good loadouts to carry this season. First slot is always shotgun, second slot is sometimes SMG, but honestly a lot of the times this season if I'm carrying two heals, I'm only carrying an AR and shotgun for weapon. Because I'm not gonna lie, you kind of need an AR this season to be able to get people off the Zeus. And a lot of the times if I am carrying an SMG, this last slot will actually be a sniper. But that's kind of the easiest layout for me at least. Then building, I've reset building choice on, disable pre edits on, pre building on obviously, and auto confirm edits I still set to bold. To me this is the easiest way to edit fast and be good at the game, then these are gonna be the extra game options if you want the best performance possible, turn replays off as well. Then the game UI tab, honestly none of this really matters, it's kinda just personal preference, but under HUD options I wouldn't really change any of this. Which leads us to the touch and motion, all the gyro controls, don't use gyro aiming, it's bad, pretty much all we need to say there honestly, uh, mouse and keyboard, keyboard controls, and then the controller tab. So in this tab, personally, I don't use controller auto run. I don't really like it. And I explain this every time, but I think every time it does help people. Edit hold time doesn't matter if you have a custom edit bind, which all that means is down here in the building tab over to the left, you see this bind, which is switch mode slash edit hold. This you want to come over here and click the red X on because we don't want to use that. You want to go down until you see actual just edit building and this is going to be your edit bind. And then over in building, you'll find a bind that says only switch mode. Actually, my binds are wrong right now. My switch mode is on L3. I'm just showing you that your edit and switch mode should be different buttons, and once they are, this edit hold time doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna set it to 0.1 for good measure, but again, it doesn't matter. Slide hold time does matter, and I set this to 0.07 seconds. Reset camera access and reset camera time, these are both for gyro aiming, which we're not using, so these also don't matter. But for good measure, 0.1 in bold. That takes us into quick weapon, which you definitely don't wanna use. To make sure you're not using quick weapon, just go back over into your binds, go to general and then you can scroll down until you see this bind that says quick weapon if you have a button here make sure you go over here and click the red x and that's gonna make it so quick weapon is completely off because it makes switching weapons way slower then we get down to the sensitivities tab and you're gonna want to click use advanced options on that'll block out these top two settings and that's perfect because we don't need them because we're using the build multiplier at 2.0 and the edit multiplier also on 2.0 now what that's multiplying is the look sense which i think this is the best look sense on all of controller is 43% on both horizontal and vertical, and there's absolutely no boost on the look sense. Then down below that is the ADS sense, which in my opinion, this season the ADS sense is more important than ever. So because of that, having these settings dialed in is really important, which is why I'm using 7% horizontal, 8% on vertical, and no boost. But the reason I keep saying this season's aim is so important is because of two things. The big one is because of the Zeus lightning. Like literally any drone can spam this and easily kill you. But the absolute best defense to this is just being able to laser them out of the air because they're stuck in the animation for like four or five seconds so they're literally just stuck there floating in the middle of the air with zero protection and if you can get out and fry them fast enough and just lock on then it turns into basically a free kill every single time and for that aim you need to have really good ads set another reason is because the wings the wings have a really big hitbox this season so if you have even halfway decent aim every single time someone comes flying at you with the wings you can instantly fry them out 
out of the air 200 to 0. And once again, that aim is dependent on the ADS sense. You want to make sure that that's really dialed in there. And that's going to be with a 0 second look damping time, a linear look input current. Aim assist on console is like kind of broken. It's really strong. So we want that at 100%. And depending on the controller you use, your dead zones can be anywhere from like 5 all the way to maybe like 16%. Personally, on this controller, the thumbsticks are perfect. They have no stick drift or anything right now. So 8% is good for me. Okay, wait, I'm already into my game that you guys are going to see later in this video. But I just forgot to mention the console new performance mode. This is basically a new thing people discovered where you can get rid of the debris that shows when builds break on console. The reason you want to do this is because all the debris breaking can make it really hard to see what's happening. But as you can see right now, I have the performance mode on and watch this. I'm going to break all these builds and they just instantly break. And then I can see everything. I can instantly see when a player falls. And basically on PlayStation, all you need is two different controllers. You sign in on both of them to two different accounts. And that's literally all I had to do. Now I just don't have any debris when builds break. On Xbox, I think I heard that you only need one controller and then you just sign into two different accounts on that one controller. And you just make sure that the second account you sign into is the one that you're actually going to play. And now let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, especially with this aim. Because I already know this console aim assist mixed with these settings is going to be a deadly combo. Bang. Oh my god, dude. The console aim assist, I just love it. It pulls so strongly onto these players. Oh my god. Console aim assist. By the way, I'm not talking crap on console. Like, yeah, the aim assist is strong, but it's needed. Console has less FPS. It has more delay. All I'm saying is it's really easy to fry people with this. Like, did you notice how there was no debris right there when that guy broke that build? Without performance mode on right there, that would have been really hard to see him. Oh, a sniper. Okay, look, I'm gonna take this load up. And look, pro tip here, if you're ever in this underworld area where you can go in the water and get these, like, dash boost things, you don't just want to instantly use them. You want to save them for when someone uses the Zeus on you so you can actually dash out of the way. Because movement and good aim, that's what's gonna get you wins this season. See, that's what you don't want to happen. Ooh. That was beautiful. On console, the auto frenzy is still just so OP. And you can see I'm literally nowhere even near the underworld right now, and I still have these three dashes I can use against the Thunderbolt. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, obviously PC is better than playing on console, but dude, console's fun to play on sometimes. And look, another thing you can do on these if you really want to, is you can do this dash over. It's kind of crazy. Man, I need some loot here. All right, we're getting down to it. Oh, wait. I'm not gonna lie, I thought he pulled out Zeus. No way he hit that. Wow, look at that, bro. That's the perfect way to end a video talking about console performance. What was that? A little 10 Elim console, though? Make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and thank you so much for watching.